Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm working on the chicken coop again. Not enjoying it, just for the reasons that I've mentioned in earlier videos. It's impermanent. I know everything I put on here, I'm going to have to take down later. You know, it just doesn't creatively energize me when I know that everything I'm doing, I'm going to have to undo later. And also, because of that, I'm trying not to use really good building materials. Uh, and the building materials that I am using, I'm trying not to alter them. Like uh, the floorboard, or the, the floor joists here, they're uh, two by threes. Uh, they, I've got them sticking out on the end. I didn't want to cut them down from the eight feet, so they'll be, uh, you know, as pristine as possible when I use them for their ultimate purpose later on. So, you know, I'm, uh, yeah, I just, I don't like building projects that way. I, I know everything in the world is impermanent. Even this house someday will be gone, but some things are more permanent than others, and I know within a couple of years this thing is going to all get dismantled, and the whole idea of, like, build, uh, dig a hole, fill it in, dig a hole, fill it in, it's, uh, you know, I don't get creatively charged up about that. So I'm trying to build it with as much junk as I possibly can and uh, you know not use any of my good scrap. I've got a lot of scrap here, but it's a you know it's a lot of good scrap. And here's a great example of bad scrap. This is some pressure treated plywood. It's got it's all delaminated up through here. Now I, I kept this knowing that it's perfectly good up until this point, but the whole thing's gonna go in there. It's gonna fill in a little gap in the floor over here. Uh, just talk a little bit about the structure here. We've got the chicken wire up. I did end up cutting the chicken wire in one spot because, um, you know, it just, I kind of had to do it uh, in order to get it on all the sides. Uh, but again, even the chicken wire, I've got plenty of it, but I don't want to cut it up because, you know, all this stuff is going to get taken down later. I know you actually can kind of re-stitch chicken, chicken wire together, so I'm not that worried about that. We do have a hole in the floor right over here uh, in this, this bag coming out, uh, out of the hole. Uh, the idea there is that we're going to be able to take all their uh, shavings and their bedding material and kind of just sweep it and shovel it over into the corner. It'll fall through the hole um, into the bag. Now the bag, I'm going to cut the bottom off and the bag will just end up being kind of like a tube, a chute. And uh, th what I'll be able to do is take like a big uh, plastic tub slide it under here. Once these boulders are out of here, I'm going to move these boulders. They'll ultimately have to go over here because it's going to be a little raised garden bed over there, but we'll be able to put a tub there and when we put the shavings in, the chute will kind of direct all the shavings into the tub and hopefully that will help reduce dust being kicked up into this environment. I know that I've learned from uh, the pantry whenever I'm taking a, a paper bag of flour and I'm putting it into our plastic tubs, if I can uh, try to control that dust by having the paper bag kind of cover up the whole area and act like a tube, uh, you know, you just make less mess. So this is a little lesson I've learned from the pantry. And this whole thing is all about learning lessons because I have no experience with chickens. I haven't done anything with them before in my entire life. I've listened to other people's experience uh, with them and I'm tried, I've tried to learn from that. But for me personally, nothing teaches me better than my own personal experience. So. This is my opportunity to, to kind of learn, learn all the stuff that I, I need to know before I do the version 2.0. And I'll talk more about what version 2.0 is going to be. There's already lots of things that I, uh, you know, have in mind for, you know, upgrades and things like that. Uh, you know, that'll be a whole other video. But for now, I just got to get it done because chickens are within 48 hours of being two weeks old and they're already starting to fly. So <laughs> their enclosure inside, we've got like a sheet over it to try to keep them from getting out of there. But we really need a bigger, better space. And, you know, as much as I'm not a fan of this particular structure, it's a much bigger, better space than the enclosure they have inside. So we want to get them in here. That's it. Thanks for watching.